डॉक्टर अर्चना मैम इज स्मॉल ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑल द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मोक्ष एंड निर्वाणा स्टार्टेड विथ लॉर्ड बुद्धा हम बुद्धिज्म को मानते हैं so leaving his wife and son behind and going to forest to like meditate don't you think he could have also attain being within the system jise hum aap hame samjha rahi hain so first so, of all dr archana the concept of moksha and nirvana did not start with lord buddha it only became okay. popular with lord buddha okay. it was already there in our scriptures from the time the vedas have existed in fact Initially, if you would see Hinduism के अंदर, I mean, and I'm talking about the Saptarishi Mandal and all these areas of our the biggest of the big uh, spiritualists and gurus and rishis of our life, they all had multiple wives. They stayed in the system and worked. They had children, they had wives, they had families. They were rich Brahmins. So, हमारे system में एक ग्रहस्त आश्रम है. The ग्रहस्त आश्रम means the family life period, and you have to go through that period. Hinduism has the concept of nirvana in fact the Vedas have it from the beginning however understand one thing vedic vedas was shrutiyon ka gyan given to very limited people so the guru would only give it to his shishya and shishya would give it to his shishya and so on and so forth so this was never an open knowledge for people like it is today people are researching people are studying but pehle nahi tha pehle it was a restricted knowledge caste system you know like if you i, mean, I don't know if you all heard of it ki divedi can read two vedas the chaturvedi can read four vedas now i am not a divedi and i am not a chaturvedi and i'm channeling vedas so we had this kind of a mindset into our system due to which concepts of vedas became popular through different methodologies for example buddhism for example jainism for example reiki in fact uh, you all will be very surprised to know रेकी के सारे सिंबल्स वेदों में हैं। ऑल द सिंबल्स ऑफ रेकी इंक्लूडिंग द कटाना सिंबल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द वेदा सो वट इज दैट मीन दैट समवे और दर बिकॉज वेदिक नॉलेज सुपरसीड्स द फाउंडेशन ऑफ एनी अदर रिटर्न फॉर्म ऑफ नॉलेज हम ये अज्यूम कर सकते हैं कि वेदिक नॉलेज से सब कुछ क्रिएट हुआ एंड देन इट ब्रांच आउट इन टू वेरियस कंट्रीज वेरियस सोसाइटीज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मोक्ष इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट पॉपुलराइज बाय Uh, Buddha, but not created by Buddha. Secondly, I totally agree with what you say. In fact, my one of my biggest uh, question marks to Gautam Buddha all the time, and we so uh, for me when I channel the uh, Buddha's energy sometimes to understand his context, I've always questioned him one thing: Why did you take this decision? But then, if you go back to Buddhism in the Lotus Sutra. which he wrote towards the end of his life span he accepted this fact and he said our job is not to run away and create enlightenment true enlightenment sorry true enlightenment is when you live within your life in every area where you go through the struggles and you overcome the struggles that is true enlightenment so if i have to give you a very simple example of lot what lotus sutra says The world around you might be like a quicksand, dal dal. It might be like kichar, wet soil which is dirty. And if if you put your foot into it, you'll either slip and fall or it'll pull you down. Your job is to grow in it and overcome it, become taller, become bigger than that quicksand, yeah. and bloom. That is the true meaning of nirvana. Thank overcome you. yourself so dr archana yeah. trust me you are right when you say why did gautam buddha do this but then gautam buddha himself realized you yes, know that i messed up so yeah. let's say he was also in his human incarnation and let's give him the benefit of doubt yeah. which let's he popularized the concept he just yeah. popularized the concept thank you, right? thank you ma'am yeah you're welcome so this is how you can grow yourself growing within you growing beyond yourself dekho aapko main ek cheez but funny si batati hu uh i was writing i'm writing my moksha pak manuals and books and everything because i want to structureize it a bit more and uh, my books my own notebooks in which i have written down all my notes my uh, you know my observations my experiences my case studies both the books they disappeared 
from my house from my bedroom and nobody comes into my room and for 2 hours i was stunned i was like oh my god what am i going to do because 6 years of studies of moksha part is in those notebooks and then suddenly i understood that it was my time to grow beyond those books and create something new so my message in this whole episode was now leave your attachment to that you can move beyond it so moving beyond yourself so every moment of our life har moment har har samay aapko ek message deta hai a message to make yourself better not because the world around you deserves it but because you deserve it because somewhere or the other hum bhool chuke hain ki hamari journey आत्मा से परमात्मा की है नॉट जिंदगी की शुरुआत से इस जिंदगी के एंड तक की बट इन दिस लाइफ टाइम बिकॉज वी आर बाउंड बाई ड्यूटीज रोल्स ऑब्लिगेशन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज समवेयर वी फोगेट द बिगर पिक्चर एंड वी गेट स्टक इन दिस एवरी डे साइकिल सुबह उठो बच्चों को स्कूल भेजो ऑफिस ये वो ब्ला 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 यू गेट स्टक सो वेन trouble comes knocking your way the first thing you think is oh my god phir aa gaya and you wanted to go you wanted to step out you want to run away but when that trouble comes ask yourself and ask the divine what are you trying to teach me mere liye message kya hai what is my lesson in this and that lesson or that message will take you up above from your problem into another sphere of growth personally professionally individually spiritually i don't know it can come in any way way and this is what moksha part talks about moksha is a sanskrit word and the english version of that is nirvana 